Imagine a night so profound, so encompassing, that it feels like an eternity. A night where the soul yearns for answers. Welcome to Create the Best Me. I am your host, Carmen Hecox. Now let's embark on a journey to understand the dark night of the soul and its deep resonance in midlife for women. The dark night of the soul is a term that has echoed through centuries, stemming from the poetic masterpiece of St. John of the Cross. It encapsulates a spiritual crisis, a deep void, but its relevance isn't confined to history. Today, it finds a deep echo in the lives of countless women as they navigate the complexities of midlife. Midlife, often termed as middle age, is anything but medieval. It's vibrant, dynamic, and yet it's also a period of profound introspect. The children have grown, careers have been established, and life seems to be on a set trajectory. But then the questions begin. Questions like, who am I beyond my roles? What is my purpose now? And have I truly lived or merely existed? These aren't just passing thoughts. They are the soul yearning for deeper meaning, for connection, for purpose. Consider the story of Maya, a top executive, mother of two. Maya had achieved what many would call the dream life. Yet on her 50th birthday, she found herself on a secluded beach, tears streaming down, not of joy, but from a deep-seated feeling of emptiness. Maya's story isn't unique. It's the story of countless women who, in the midst of life's routines, have lost themselves. The dark night is that profound realization. It's that cry for reconnection, for realignment, for rebirth. But how does one navigate this dark night? First, start by acknowledging it, by understanding that it's okay to feel lost even when everything internally seems perfect, it's okay to seek, to question, to yearn. Next, it's about finding anchors. For Maya, this anchor was art. She rediscovered her love for painting, something she had left behind in her youth. Those strokes of paint, she expressed her turmoil, her joys, her dreams, and her fears. Art was her therapy, her solace. But more than that, it was her beacon. Through her dark night, she found a new dawn, a new purpose. Today, she runs an art therapy workshop, helping others express, heal, and rediscover themselves. I'm sure many of you have your own Maya stories, moments of profound introspect, of doubt, of rediscovery. Share them with us. For our YouTube audience, the comments section awaits your stories. Podcast listeners, reach out through email or through social media. Let's create a tapestry of shared experience of collective wisdom. The dark night of the soul isn't a phase to dread. It's a phase to embrace. It's the universe's way of telling us to pause reflect, and realign. For women in midlife, it's a golden opportunity, an opportunity to shed the old and embrace the new ones, to find purpose beyond roles, and to live with authenticity and passion. Additional information in today's transcript can be found at createthebestme.com forward slash EP037. Thank you for walking with me through this profound journey today. Your stories, insights, and presence adds light to the dark night. Join us next week when our guest will be Kiki Tyler, who will talk about the healing powers of Reiki. She will share her own personal journey from receiving Reiki and how it inspired her to become a Reiki master. Trust me, you won't want to miss this exciting episode. Remember. Every dark night is just a canvas waiting for the colors of dawn. Until then, 
keep dreaming big, take care of yourself, and remember, you are beautiful, strong, and capable of creating the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching. Catch you next week. Bye for now.